Hey guys, it's Amanda here, your cutie of carnage. And I'm Jess Koresh. Here on Channel Sundown. Do you have to take <laughs> You can dance if you wanna. Did it say? <laughs> What are we doing today? Today we are actually doing another trailer reaction with my friend here, Mr. Jess Crush, who of course I enjoy watching trailers with because he gives his opinion, I give mine, they tend to not collide, but we'll see, we might agree this time, so we'll see. I'm sorry I'm not more excited because I have absolutely no idea what trailer we're about to watch, so I don't know. I ah, yeah! Yes, guys, I have a trailer reaction ready and set, but my friend trusts me, obviously, a ton, because he doesn't know what trailer we're going to be watching, and I don't know what I'm doing to my hair, but... The suspense is killing me! Killing me! Yes, so, let's do this. You think you're real cool, aren't you? No, I don't know. I was just starting to... The film that we're going to react to today is directed by David N. Rosenthal. And this is actually one of, uh, basically we are watching the trailer for the rehashing of Jacob's Ladder. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so, I'm a big fan of the one from 1990, Tim Robbins. I love yeah. that film. So, uh, I'm really curious on what's going to happen here. It stars Michael Ely. Um, and... Don't know who that is. Um, my, uh, my friend, uh, Jesse Williams is in this film, too. We're friends with Jesse Williams. Get out of here. I, I, I mean, I can I can picture who that is. <laughs> Calvin in the Woods. Yeah. So it's like, uh, I just want to say I had, like, no, I didn't really want to see this movie. I like the original James Flatter, and so I was kind of angry they were doing a remake. But I'll give it a chance. Yeah, so I don't know much about the film, guys. I haven't watched the trailer yet or nothing. I just... When I saw it, I clicked on the link and it said who it was, and I wrote it down. I was like, "Wow, I really need to check this out." So, that's what we're doing. I'm kind of excited. You kind of changing your mind. I mean, I'm interested. I like the original, like I said. So, guys, here it goes. <laughs> you excited? Yes. Ask me like, on a scale of one to ten how excited I am. Scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? I'm about a 5. Here. Here it goes! Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here it goes! What the fuck? You've never said that word. You try to use that. You sound like a waitress at Diddy's all of a sudden. <laughs> I was so enthusiastic. Somebody over the eggs over my head. Well, here it goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh things got real. <laughs> Oh wow. So it's a uh, reimagining. Yeah. Okay. It's like Tim Robbins. Oh, wait. No, I'm confused. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm breaking my knees. 
I don't know. <laughs> oh. I know it breaking two. Straight out of Compton. Okay. It's flies everywhere. Oh. Oh. Some nasty. Ooh. Uh, uh, this is like this is like like have I forgotten the original Jacob's Ladder? Or yeah. Or it's a lot. Well, but I mean I know uh, it's a different movie. Yeah, but it's. Mm, uh. I mean, uh. deadlining. That's <laughs> <laughs> what we into. Um. I don't know. It looked like it looked pretty cheap. Um. Didn't it look kind of cheap to you? Yeah, uh, my... Uh, huh. I like the actors. I do. I like Jesse Williams, you know. But I feel like the best thing about the film, it just, it doesn't feel as... Uh, I haven't seen the Milms, film... Milm. I haven't seen... I'm like movie film. Moom. Uh, I haven't seen the film, so I can't really say, but it looks like they're going to go for those cheap little, like, uh, scene scares. Mm -hmm. And what I really appreciated about Jacob's Ladder was the undertone, the effects and the undertone, the, the dance, you know, scene. Uh, the, the under the, anyways, you guys watch Jacob's Ladder, the original, if you haven't seen it. But... More more of a psychological. Thing. Yes, yes, and it was. It has a lot dealing, and and I just it was very, um, you know, the ending. You know, is all kind of trails to something, and I feel like that one had a lot of kind of graphic scares, but you didn't really. They tried to go for that little like you know, trying to like reconnect with his brother and stuff, and it just doesn't feel. I don't know. I feel like a retelling of Jake's Ladder would be very awesome now due to, you know, things being just a time being different and talking about the same thing. Yet at the same time, I don't believe that they're kind of reaching that point of the film. Uh, but it is a trailer. So, you know, I could watch the film and be like, oh, this is great. But felt very uh, jumpy, scary, kind of cheap. My interest is not peaked. <laughs> yeah, like I don't feel just like you know, like Doctor Sleep and everything. There's that that kind of they didn't really they didn't copy The Shining. They weren't you know going for a, a you know remake of Shining. They're going for a new story, and I believe that um, Jacob's Ladder going kind of the same direction, kind of like redoing itself, like the Child's Play, but re kind of changing it a bit. And I feel like they changed it a bit, but I feel like when I see the film, due to the trailer me watching it, it's not going to have much of a grab on myself, like, you know, as an, a person who appreciates the film, you know. Jacob's Ladder kind of gets you and kind of shakes you a little bit, makes you kind of, you know, see things. And I feel like this is just going to be like, you know, oh, wow, that jumped out of the cabinet. That was scary. You know how sometimes you just watch a trailer and you think and you like you know like oh that's not gonna do well. Yeah. That's how I felt the whole time I was watching that. <laughs> well, like, you're trying. Like, what was that? Uh, what's that movie? The uh, like the Flatliners remake. Yeah. Remember that? I was watching that. Tra I remember watching that trailer like that's not gonna do well. Yeah, well, I have a few feelings about that film, but yeah, guys. Uh, that was interesting. Um, I don't know if, and I was very positive about this film. I was saying that you know it's you know it's going to be interesting. Like I would love to see you know a new kind of tell on the story, and I don't know. I'll wait until I see the film. But I was really really assuming I was going to like this trailer. It's not the worst trailer, of course, by any means. But I haven't really. I have, my interest is kind of dwindled a little bit but 
you know, I'm still going to see it. So. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. <laughs> well, I just rewatched the original Jacob's Ladder like two weeks ago, and so it's still pretty fresh on my mind. So, like, you know, I wasn't excited about Jacob's Ladder, but I mean, it, trailer. If somebody was like, "Hey, do you want to watch a free? Do you want to come over and watch Jacob's Ladder for free in in my house?" I'd just be like, "Maybe." How close? How far, I don't think you should be going to any stranger's house how, to watch. How somebody. far away do you live? Oh, what is doing? If they were like, "Hey, I rented Jacob's Ladder from the bread box for ninety nine cents. I live a block away. You want to come over and watch it?" I'd be like, "Sure." It's fine. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure it's great. <clears throat> anyways, guys, so that's what we thought about the Jacob's Ladder trailer. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Guys, let us know. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And like I said, let us know what you think about the trailer. Or what you think we think about. Like, what do you guys think that you think we should think about the trailer? Let us know what we think about that trailer. I need to know what I think about that trailer. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let us know. Comment below. Oh, I am still rhyming. Anyways, guys, till next time. Bye. Bye. That was trailer talk. Ah, all right. What kind of noise was that? Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm a pterodactyl.